Hi, it's a sunny day in Michigan and we are going to take a road trip to Manitou Beach at Devil's Lake, Michigan. It's about 90 minutes south um, west of where we are right now. Looking forward to it.
there's fishies in there. Yeah, I don't know how to do the... Oh, there, I see the rock.
stopped in at the Irish Hill Antiques and they had lots of interesting things. However, it was all at um, retail prices, so not good for uh, a reseller like me, but lots of goodies for anybody who loves um, antique decor and is looking for very interesting, unique pieces. They also run flea markets here in the summertime. Okay, so I'm gonna do the haul from the back of the car. It's windy and I think people are doing yard work, so you'll have to excuse the noise. So let me just turn these around. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how much these are all priced for. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you how much I actually paid for the items. So these are 1978 Disney um, Christmas balls. Um, so with, you know, uh, little Mickey Mouse and Dumbo. I just thought they were so cute. So I got two of those. Then I got two of these. Don Ho Polynesian Palace, Waikiki, Hawaii. The Reef Towers Hotel, which is Cinerama on it. So these are just some bar glasses. There he is, Don Ho. Um, I did not look up any comps when I was just picking these items. I was like, oh, that's just neat. So these were $4 a piece. And then I saw this Dragonware, it's like an ashtray. I just thought that was so cool, and that was $8 a piece. On the back, it says $7.50. I'm not sure if that's how much they paid for it at the time. Or if the, this estate sale, which you saw in the previous footage, had a ton of stuff. And there was a lot of the Dragonware. There was teapots, and there was vases and things. Um, and... I don't know enough about it to know, it, you know, should I spend a lot of money on getting the big vases and the teapots and all that. Um, I decided to get something that I'm like, oh, ashtrays always sell, so I wanted to get the ashtray. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Then I got this. It's a, it's in the, it's called, it's new old stock. It's Texas. And it is a souvenir, souvenir tray wall plaque, six coasters or wall plaques. So it's got the coasters and the wall plaque, but it's actually a tray, but it is so neat. So this is vintage, and I like that it's still in the packaging. Then I got this, and let's see, oh, it goes this way. It's Hop Ching Checkers, but we call it, you know, Chinese checkers. Um, there is no beads or marbles with it or anything like that and it did have a, a flattened out box behind it I grabbed the whole thing I just thought that would be so cool as artwork on the wall I just thought that would be so neat and it's vintage so I grabbed it this was $15 yeah it's right there 15 and then they had a, a lot of these I only picked up two of them I picked up this dish for $12 and it says that it's hand painted 22 karat gold USA weeping bright gold I think it's weeping bright let me see and then the shell I thought the shell was awesome <laughs> so and yeah let's see what it says here in this one Yes, weeping bright gold. So I think that's the design of, of what this looks like, where they kind of like it's like weeping the gold. <laughs> um, and oh, so let me move this aside. Then I got these. Now this is also like new old stock. This is Power Rangers um, Tour the Shuttle Zord. So it's these paper like cutouts that then you can um, form into <laughs> like these but these are still new in the package this is origami paper art so I got one two three four five six seven seven of those so all in they tallied it up as $80 but it was 75% off because it was Sunday there was still so much stuff left in this house, um, but some of the prices were really high and I, I didn't think it was enough room for, um, you know, flipping for profit. And um, so I ended up paying $20 for everything in here. 
and so I think I made some pretty good choices I should make some really good money on some of these items and I had a lot of fun going to this estate sale I was not planning on stopping at the estate sale uh, we were just going to um, hang out at uh, the Devil's Devil's Lake and um, and then have lunch and kind of like you know kind of see the area a little bit we were just going on a long Sunday drive and I saw the estate sale sign and we stopped and I ended up getting this and got all this footage for you guys I hope you enjoyed our little day trip I wanted to show you some of the sites of Michigan and just kind of take you along for the ride um, going to the estate sale was completely a bonus I had no idea that was going to be there uh, so um, I'm going to you know share this all with you guys and uh, please like this um, you know like this video subscribe to my channel write any comments down below ask me any questions and I'll see you guys next time